right, Brad here with backward chaining, and not just because I'm backwards. It's one of my favorite procedures. It's where a teacher instructs the learner through the entire process of doing something, and the student does the last step to meet reinforcement. So I, one of the biggest things we do in the field is teaching a kid how to tie his shoes. You do all of the steps to tie his shoes, get, a nice, get it to the point of doing a nice little bow, Kiddo grabs two ends of the bow, boom, the shoe's on, and he successfully completed the task of putting his shoes on. That's one of my favorite examples. In recent experience, I taught an entire backward chain of shoe tying and met with great success. The problem is, is I never thought that in a task analysis, being able to untie your shoe is important. I actually caused behavioral issues because I forgot to put untying a shoe in the program. So make sure you have the entire process done. <laughs>